Today I'm going to talk about rose rosette disease, also known as witch's broom. It affects your roses and it is a deadly disease. And what you, I have to say, you're not going to like to hear, but you got to hear it. Rose rosette disease is caused, is carried by a tiny, tiny, tiny little mite called a woolly mite. It's got a big name, which is much bigger than what it is, but woolly mite. You can't really see it. Um, it can crawl, it can come in on the wind, and with it comes a virus. That little woolly mite will eat on your roses, and it will infect the roses with this virus. That's the rose rosette disease. If your rose gets this disease, you can't save it. You have to pull the rose out and start over. That's the really bad news, because some of you have some really pretty roses out there, might have a lot of them and if one gets it you've got to just be so vigilant to watch all of the rest because they could all get it and you could lose them all. There is no treatment at this time. There are things that you can use to treat your roses for mites but this particular mite is not affected by those um, products so you can't kill this mite. Um, at the end of this video you're going to see a list of symptoms rose rosette disease so I'm not going to go over those a whole lot but you will just notice that um, your roses will have a very odd way of growing and they will kind of come up almost looking like a broom which is where the name witch's broom comes from if you think that you have this disease you can always bring a, a cutting in to us we can help you to identify it if you do have it as I said you need to get rid of your roses do not throw them into a compost you have to burn them or throw them in the garbage and you're probably going to want to clear off that soil around it because you don't know if that mite could still be in that soil. Be very, very careful with your roses. Um, don't let them be too close together because things that are all squished together tend to be more um, prone to diseases and things like this. So keep a little space between your roses. And um, the knockout roses, they were supposed to be the big deal, but there wasn't going to be this disease on them but it's hitting the knockout roses too. If you have any questions about this or anything else, you can give us a call here at Green Side Up. My name is Jane. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that's about it with Rose Rosette disease.